Welcome guys. So come, we're going to start straight away into a cat pose. So coming into your cat pose, hands are underneath your shoulders and your hips are straight above your knees. Tuck your toes under so they're standing. And then just round your back, tuck your chin under and look towards your navel. And arching your back, lift your chest, look forward. Rounding your back, tuck your chin under, looking towards your navel. Arching your back, lift your chest, look forward. And again, round your back, tuck your chin under, looking towards your navel. Arching your back, lift your chest, look forward. Nice. Walk your hands so they're one handprint forward from where they started. Round your back and sit your bum back in the direction of your heels. So my back is rounded as I do this. Keep your back rounded and come forward until you push the weight into your hands. Round your back, sit your bum back towards your heels. Keep your back rounded and lean forward into your hands. But my, I haven't let my hips fall forward, I'm still rounding through the back. Rounding, sit your bum back towards your heels. And then rounding, come forward to lean into your hands. The opposite direction, arch your back. Draw your hips back as you arch your back. You're looking forward as you arch. And then as you arch your back, lean forward and let your feet lift a little bit as you lean forward. Nice. Keeping your back arching, sit your bum back in the direction of your heels, looking forward. And then rocking forward. Let your hips rock forward, really listening to your spine as you do this. Let your feet rise. And again, sit your bum back, arching as you lean back. And then arching as you lean forward. Nice, and now we're going to move between both of them. So my knees have moved a little back, so I'm going to reposition my hands. So round your back, sit your bum back towards your heels. Look forward, keep your arms straight, rise as you arch forward. Lean into your hips. Nice, from here, rounding the back. Sit your bum back in the direction of your heels. Arch your back when you're all the way back. Keep your arms straight, rock forward. Let your feet lift, let your hips drop. From here, round your back. Sit your bum back in the direction of your heels. Look forward, keep your arms straight, arching your back as you rock forward. Nice, we're gonna arch as we move backwards this time. So arching, moving back. When you're all the way back, round and move forward. Arching, so let your hips drop, let your feet lift. And then keep arching as you move backwards, keep looking forwards. Rounding your back and move forward from here. So find a way, how would you move forward and backwards in your spine? What feels like a really juicy, yummy, let me change direction a few times. How would you really roll and round and ease into your spine? You can bend your elbows if you wish. And how would you roll into your spine? How would you allow the full of your spine to really be strong, your arms supporting it? No rocking forwards, no rocking backwards. Nice, push back into your downward dog. So all the way back into your downward dog. And your feet are hmm, hip distance apart, your shoulders, or the hands are shoulder distance apart. Rock forward into your plank pose. So my spine is moving backwards, so I'm rounding my back. And then Draw my bum back, bend my knees, arch my back. Nice, round your back, rock forward into plank pose. Sit your bum back, bend your knees, arching your back as you sit back. Nice, round your back, plank pose. Sit your bum back, arching. Nice, round your back into crouching. So now you're in crouching, your knees are bent, your bum is sitting back. Rock forward into plank, arch your back, sit your bum back into Downward dog. Round your back into crouching. Rock forward into plank. Arch your back. Sit your bum back into downward dog. Round your back into crouching. Push forward into plank. Arch your back. Push back into the downward dog. So try that. Rounding, crouching, plank pose, arching, downward dog. Rounding, crouching. Plank pose, arching, bum back. And then see if you can make a flow out of that movement. Try it. 
try in the other direction. Whatever that means to you. And you find the strength of your spine. Change direction. Nice. And bring your knees to the floor. And bring your arms along beside you. Rest your head on the floor. And we'll be resting down. Coming to rest on the floor. Knees are bent. And it's funny your breath. As you inhale, as you exhale, feel the ground beneath you. The sense of the strong of the ground, the deep of the ground, beneath your shins, beneath your feet, beneath your hands, beneath your forehead. Coming forward onto your hands and knees. Push back into your downward dog. And just bend one knee, bend the other knee, bend one knee, bend the other knee, straighten both legs. Drop both knees down, let them touch. Stretch back. Drop both knees down, let them touch. And stretch back. And drop both knees down, let them touch. And stretch back. Nice. Bring both knees to the floor, fling both feet over towards the side and come sit on your mat with your legs long in front of you. So your legs are long in front of you, bring your hands either side of your thighs. Push your hands down, so feel like wherever you are, so your hands aren't back behind you, they're in front of you, somewhere between your hips and your knees or further, depending on how flexible you are. So push your hands down into the floor, put, point through both toes and then lift your right leg up off the floor and or down. And again, lift your right leg up off the floor and or down. And again, lift your right leg up and or down. Left leg up, or down, up, or down, up, and or down. You might find that it's just a fish movement, a flick that you get. That's good as well. Find your hands a little bit further forward. Right leg three times. Left leg three times. Slide your hands a little bit further. Right leg three times, left leg three times, slide your hands a little bit further, right leg three times, left leg three times, one more time, slide your hands a little bit further, is it possible or is it, have you gone down to the flick, for me I've gone down to flick, and then the other side, flick, nice, slide your hands all the way back till your hands are near your hips, Push down into your hands, draw your knees up towards you, and then stretch the left leg, bend it, stretch the right leg, bend it, left leg, bend it, right leg, bend it, left leg, right leg. Nice. Bring your hands to your hips, so you're holding on to the sides of your belly, lean back, stretch both legs, bend both knees, lean back, stretch both legs, bend both knees, lean back, stretch both legs, bend both knees. And just feeling the, the deep of your belly, your lower back, stretching, bending, stretching, bending, stretching, bending, stretching, bending. Wrap your arms around your knees, hug them in. Wrap your arms around the backs of your knees. So you're still floating, your feet are in the air. Stretch one leg up, stretch the other leg up, one leg up, and the other leg up, one leg. And the other leg. Try both. Now, as you stretch both legs up towards the ceiling, maybe holding on, pulling them a little bit closer. Point to your toes, flexing your feet. Point to your toes, flexing your feet. Nice. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. So, I'm going to turn sideways on my mat so you can see me a bit better. So, have your feet in the air, the soles of your feet are together, your knees apart. Drop your feet down. Reach your hands forward, drop your head down in the direction of the floor. And just find two or three breaths here. Right, leaning back, 
and draw your knees towards each other, stretch your legs out long and then lower them to the floor. Reach your arms out long, drop your head down in the direction of the floor, down in the direction of your knees. Arms have walked out as far as they'll go, rounding forwards. Leaning back, slide your hands back until they're beside your hips. Bend your knees, draw your knees in towards you, bring your feet wide, slide your feet out. Slide your hands down your thighs, drop your head down in the direction of the floor. Two or three breaths here. Going all the way up. Bend your knees, lean back. Soles your feet together, drop your feet to the floor, drop your head down in the direction of, your flo of the floor. Reach your arms out forward in front of you. Rising up, draw your knees together, float your feet, stretch your legs long, drop your feet to the floor, reaching out, round your back forwards. Find your breath, really settling into the back of the body. Sliding your hands back, lift your feet as they slide back, draw your knees wide, stretch your feet out wide, bring your feet to the floor, slide your hands down your thighs and your calves, Wrap your head to the floor, or down in the direction of the floor. Nice. Leaning back, bring the soles of your feet together, drop them down, reach forward, drop your head down in the direction of the floor. Rising up, draw your knees together, stretch your legs out long, drop them to the floor, reach out, uh, reach forward. Rising up, draw your knees towards you, bring your feet wide, stretch your legs out long, bring them down, sliding down, head in the direction of the floor. Rising up, soles your feet together, hold on to them, drop them down, reach your arms out long, last time. Reaching long, really into your belly. Rising up. Draw your knees together, stretch your legs long in front of you, drop them down, reach your arms forward, drop your head down. Rising up, bend your knees, squeeze your knees towards you, bring your knees wide, stretch your legs out wide, drop them down, sliding down your legs to drop down to the floor. Coming all the way up. Bend one knee, bring it back to centre. Bend the other knee, bring it back to centre. Sitting on your mat again. And this time we're going to fling both feet over towards the right. So we're in zigzag towards the right. Bring your left hand behind you and pushing both knees into the floor, push your left hand down and then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And lowering down to the floor with your bum. Bring both legs so they're forward. Bring both feet over towards the left. Into zigzag on the left hand side. Push your right hand into the floor behind you and then pushing down into your right hand, rock onto your knees, reach your left hand straight up towards the ceiling. Lower your bum down, lower your arm down, stretch both legs long in front of you, both feet over towards the right. Left hand behind you, reach the right hand up towards the ceiling and maybe reach over your head a little bit more. Bend your elbow, drop your bum, stretch both legs long in front of you. Drop both knees to the left, or both feet to the left. Bring your right hand behind you, lift your hips, reach through your left hand up and above, and maybe long above your head. Nice, lowering all the way down, down to the floor. Stretch both legs long in front of you. Rock a little bit from side to side to find your bum. Reach both hands long and strong, bend your right knee, squeeze it in. Bring your foot to the floor, lengthening. Nice. And then draw your right, uh, so reach, reach both hands forward in front of you, draw your right elbow back, bring your fingertips to the floor behind you, and already you're in your twist. My chest is twisted here already. Then glide your left arm around the corner, bring your left elbow or your, keep your arm straight if you wish, or you can bend your left elbow, and twist deeply towards the right. Strong into the right fingers, strong into that left leg. You can turn that left hand a little bit more so your baby finger is rolling towards your face. And spirals down to the arm as well. And finding your breath. Nice. 
Let's release, looking forward, release the left hand forward, release the right hand forward, stretch that leg out, keep it floating, roll your ankle, roll your wrists, roll your ankle in the other direction, bend your knee, keep it floating, stretch your leg long, bend your knee, keep your leg floating, stretch your leg long, bend your knee, keep your leg floating, stretch it long, let it rest. Other side, bend the left knee, bring it in towards you, bring both arms long in front of you and then pull the left elbow back, to bring your fingers to the floor, and then twist towards the left, bring your elbow to the outside, right elbow to the outside of the left knee, twist deeply towards the left, you can spiral that left, right hand a little bit more by drawing the baby finger towards your face, and widen into your shoulders. And release. Stretching out through both legs. Oh, stretch your left leg long, bend it in. Stretch your left leg long, bend it in. Stretch your left leg long, bend it in. And one more time, stretch your left leg long and bend it in. Bend both knees in. One last bit of abs. Always good, these guys. So you're on your bum, your feet are floating, and rock a little bit so that you're more in your sit bones rather than way back onto your sacrum. So you're trying to come a little bit more onto the, so you're just about to fall forward with your feet. Reach your fingers forward in front of you. Squeeze your knees towards each other and get taller. So it's like your chest is going to try and come towards your thighs a little bit more as you open your chest and reach your fingers forward. Bring your right foot parallel to your knee, lower it down. And bring your left foot parallel to your knee, lower it down. Both feet parallel to your knees, lower them down. Reach the right hand up towards the ceiling, lowering it down. Reach the left hand up towards the ceiling and lower it down. Reach both hands up towards the ceiling and lower them down. Bring both feet parallel to your knees. Bring both hands up towards the ceiling. We're lowering them down. Stretch both legs straight up. Reach both hands straight up. And lowering them down. Awesome job. Come all the way down the line on your back. So rolling all the way back. Feet are on the floor. And just pushing your feet down. Just arch your lower back gently. And then flatten your lower back down and roll up along your spine. And then rolling down, all the way down, landing on the floor. And then travelling up, up along your spine. And then travelling all the way down until you land on the floor. One more time, travelling up along your spine, pushing your feet down as you lift. Just find a wide of the pelvis, pausing there. And rolling all the way down. Squeeze the right knee up onto your chest. Stretch the left leg long. Bring your heel to the floor. Push both elbows into the floor. Begin to rock your right knee over towards the left. Keep your right shoulder down. And then come back up to center. Rock your right knee down towards the left. And then back up to center. Keeping that right shoulder down. Rock your right knee over towards the left. And back up to center. Nice change. Squeeze both knees towards you, rock a little bit to reposition your spine and then stretch the right leg long, heel comes to the floor, squeeze your knee in and then pushing both elbows down, rock your left knee towards the right and come back up to centre, rock your left knee towards the right and back up to centre, one more time, left knee towards the right and just pausing there, shoulders are wide, breath is deep in your belly. And all the way back to center. Squeeze both knees towards you, just rock out from side to side. And then lower both feet to the floor. You can keep your knees bent if you wish, or you can stretch your legs out long. And just come into relaxation. So relaxation, either resting with your knees bent or your legs straight. And just come to land onto the floor. You can have a blanket if you wish. You can put on your jumper. 
pair of socks, depending on the temperature in the room that you're in. Putting a block or a book underneath the back of your head is very supportful for your neck. Just if your neck is rather than your chin lifting up toward the ceiling, that you have your chin, the back of your neck lengthening and your chin tucked in a little bit more. And just find the sense of weight into your body, a sense of the weight of you, contact with the back of your head, shoulders, back of your rib cage, lower back sacrum, buttocks, backs of your thighs, backs of the knees, the calves, the heels. Soles of your feet, all of your toes, the front of your feet, your ankles, the fronts of your shins, your knees, your thighs, your hips, and the front of your belly, front of the rib cage, your chest, your collarbones, the upper arms, your armpits, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, all of your fingers front of your throat, the back of your neck, and the whole of you right now, your chin, your jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your nose, your nostrils, your skin on your face, your cheekbones, the eyes, the eyelids, your eyebrows, the forehead widening, the lines of expression softening around your face your scalp softening, your ears hanging, the sense of the back of your neck really softening and deepening as you soften your jaw, the back of your neck will soften. Settling, deepening, landing, being here now. now. What do you do in yourself to really stop, to really pause, to really connect in? Or where is your break, now that kind of pushing down and slowing things down to be in you now. How do you do that? How do you soften, settle, deepen, pause, really deepen into the floor, like surrender to the weight of you, yield to the weight of you, enjoy the weight of you, sorry about my notifications, really settling, softening, landing. guys. Thank you so much. You can stay here just resting on the floor. You can go on with your day. But I shall see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much.